fentanyl withdrawal story time. Take these fucking earphones out. Alright, it was like December 2020. December 7th, 2020. Uh, fuck. It's gonna be a crazy one. Hold on. December 7th, 2020. That whole year before all 2020 yeah i'm not gonna use the quarantine as an excuse for my drug usage i'm not sure if it amped up my drug usage or what but that whole fucking year i was smoking blues i was smoking h in the beginning smoking heroin in the beginning as well as blues um by april i think i couldn't find heroin anymore so i just uh exclusively just fentanyl just the blues and i was working at the time i had pretty good amount of money um i would i would like to say that i was a functional addict but there's no such thing as a functional addict functioning addict or whatever the fuck you want to call it because you're still Fucking up your pockets, you're still not being responsible, and you're damaging your body, and you're being a fucking idiot if you're still using and working and shit. Um, I decided in December that I was going to stop. I wanted to be sober for Christmas. I wanted to be sober for Christmas, New Year's. Uh, that was my goal by the end of that year. Halloween came by, I was still fucking using horribly, I was using to the point where I will get up, smoke all day, go to work, smoke at work, not fucking shower, not fucking take care of the bills that needed to be, I had the money for the bills, but I didn't pay them that day because I was just so fucked off, I didn't care, I did not, I did not give a fuck about anything, anybody, just myself and getting high in that fucking blue dot, that blue pill. Not blue dot as in tweaking it, but that blue pill, that blue M30. It took over my life at that point. So December, I was like, fuck this. The only way I'm going is because I was working. I didn't want to quit my job or anything. I didn't want to still work while withdrawing. You can't. You, you, I've done it a few times where oh, I could power through it, yeah, but I've always fucking went back to get high like after the day or whatever the fuck, after the work day. But this time I really wanted to stop, so I let my pops know. I was living at my pops at the time. I said, well, I need to stop this job. I've been using pretty heavy this, you know, and I got the whole lecture again and this and that. If you know the lecture, you know the lecture. Your family's telling you, you know, giving you that that oh, if you don't stop then this and that well I told him I'm willing to stop but I need to fucking withdraw I need a Jones I need a, I need a detox off of it and the only way I knew how was just to fucking lay I wasn't I didn't even have a bed at that point I had money for a bed an air mattress or whatever the fuck but I was on the floor I was sleeping on the floor at my dad's house in my childhood room you know, on the floor on a bunch of blankets. And then I said, well, that's what I need to do is you need to fucking stop and sleep. But where the story goes, I didn't get no fucking sleep. Anyways, I got the lecture. He's like, all right, well, fucking get better. Hurry up. Get back to work. You know, just don't want you to be good. Be cool. All right. All right. You know, I told him cool, you know. And that day I called in the works. Well, I'm not going to be coming in anymore. I made some bullshit excuse. Oh, I found a new job or some bullshit like that. So I could probably get that job back later. But nah. Well, that first night, I just remember, you know, going through the withdrawal. Feeling like shit. Not really getting anything done. Just trying to, trying to, trying to get some rest. Trying to sleep. Second night goes by. I'm still trying to sleep. It's December, December 8th already. You know, the ninth, and I don't know where the day started bleeding into each other. I think after like the third or fourth day, the days just started bleeding into each other. I didn't know if I was awake or if I was asleep, but I know I was fucking dreaming for some fucking reason. And like the first dream I had was like, oh, so I can't even explain it. It was just so fucking weird. I was like in the desert. 
And it was, they were in nice dreams. They were in dreams that, oh, I want to go back to that fucking dream. Fuck no, they are scary fucking dream. I didn't know my mind could create those fucking images. Like the first dream I remember having, I was like in the desert. And there was like this clan of people that was like, they had skinned a bunch of people. And they made like a wall of their skins. And I was just like driving by them and trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Like, who is this? Who are you? It was like a clan, like a family or some shit up in the desert. And they're, they could legally murder people and shit. And it was fucking weird. It was after that first night or that first day. I don't even remember. I remember it being daytime when I came came to and like got up and ate something and went back to my room. Um, The second most weird, like the most vivid like thing I dream I had was like this fucking like conquest group of like religious people making their way through like my town and shit and they were trying to take over but with savagery and fucking like evil biblical images and shit like demonic type shit they're trying to like take over the fucking like where I lived and shit my neighborhood and my old neighbor like this is just weird and they're like savage as fuck they're like killing each other and shit and they're they didn't, and they're coming though like in my vision the dream my hallucination or whatever the fuck um like the day after that i had like another dream where like we were rich as fuck and we lived in like a cube and we're artists or some shit like that and we're like putting out shirts and this weird shit like it was i don't fucking know i can't even explain it like that that last dream bled into this next dream like, it bled into it. Like, it fucking, it, it turned into it. But it was, they were, like, day-long fucking dreams. Or, I, I call them hallucinations. Because this has never happened to me before. Up until that, until December 7, 2020. I've never hallucinated like that or dreamt like that or anything. Like, day-long fucking dreams where it, they made sense. And, and it was like a fucking movie. Like, it was weird as fuck. Well, that, that Conquest-type dream bled into that fucking lavish living-type dream and shit. But it still made no sense. It didn't make any sense to me. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. The whole time, I I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Like, what is this? Where am I? What the fuck are you guys doing? What is this? And I don't know. And that, that, that square dream thing turned, like, it, it was, I don't know. I sound crazy explaining it. I know you guys are going to fucking diagnose me with some weird shit. But it's, it's just because I didn't fucking sleep because of the withdrawal. Uh, after that, which that, that that fucking lavish feeling dream and shit, it had a lot to go into. It was a lot of things that happened in it, but it was just like I don't fucking know. I sound crazy explaining it. That one bled into like a like a underwater type fucking dream. It was fucking weird. Like we we're making weapons for like a submarine army or some shit like that. Like the navy. I don't. It wasn't even the navy. It was like some high tech fucking Star Wars shit, but underwater. And that one bled into like a like a colonial fucking type dream where I was trying to ride a bike through a window. That's all I remember from that one. And it I don't fucking know. It just turned into something crazy. Um. Oh shit. Like that whole month, it was just fucking like hallucinating. I was trying to sleep. I couldn't sleep. I was just up. That one bled into like a fucking like a like a crazy, like. Another crazy family dream, or it, was, it wasn't my family, but like a, the crazy family is trying to kidnap people and fucking like, I don't fucking know. It was just weird. I don't. I wasn't a part of. It. I was just like looking, like from the outside looking in. That's it. It was like I said. It was like a movie and shit. Um, where it started getting very crazy. Where I where I physically had, where the dream physically got me to go and like sleepwalking shit. I would I would have to say sleepwalking whatever. It was this dream about fucking Seth Rogen was going to meet me at the Circle K by my house and, like, give me a bunch of weed or some shit or money. I don't fucking even know. But the dream itself was, like, this fucking 80s director, and he would keep, like, dead people in his fucking RV, like, skeletons and shit, and... He made, like, this fucking forever going, like, like contraption to where when he died and his last breath would push the fucking, the, like, the wind fucking thing to make this thing go. 
and it was like a doll that would fucking like move and when that would stop it would fall and like trigger another thing that would trigger another thing and another to keep going for eternity like little fucking trinkets that will like initiate and then I, I like follow I, I don't even remember what what they were or what they were made of or what the fuck but it just kept going until it reached these times because it was like a like an 80s director that made this happen and it reached to these times and I had to find somebody in my dream I remember or my hallucination or whatever my fucking awake fucking dream and it triggered this this contraption to fucking like place a message on me that I couldn't see and it marked like the palm of my hand for some reason I woke up or I got up and my pops was leaving for work, but I didn't, I didn't hear him while I was, like, hallucinating this dream or whatever. And his, like, lights flashed into my eyes while I woke up. And something told me I had to go to the fucking Circle K down the street from my house. And, ah, uh, for some fucking reason, I got my ass up, put my sweater on. And I, I shit you not, I think I need to be admitted for this or some shit. I don't fucking know. This has never happened to me before. The marking was still on my fucking palm. Every time I looked at it while I was walking. So I was like, okay, this is real. Okay, this is real. I kept, and while I was walking, it was still nighttime outside. It was like five in the morning. And every object I would look at, it was like pointing pointing me into the direction I needed to go. Which in reality, I was going nowhere. It was nothing. It was just my fucking mushed up ass fucking fentanyl riddled brain. But I would look at like a car or something and there'll be like, it seemed real to me at the time, but there'll be like a character, a person in it just pointing me in the direction, pointing me in the direction where to go. In my mind, I already knew where I was going. So I think that has something to do with it, realizing it now. And I go to the fucking Circle K, I wait at the bus stop in front of there where I felt like I needed to be. And it was weird because every car that passed by, it was like... Me, but in the future. It was fucking weird, man. I can't even... There's so much that went into this shit and so much I want to say. Hold on. Yeah, there's so much I want to say and that went into this fucking, like, hallucination. It was fucking weird. Yeah, I went back home after, you know what I mean, have a couple hours out there freezing, fucking freezing my ass off and waiting for the people to show up to take me to where I needed to go. It's fucking weird. I get home. Um, I think I sleep or I crash out for the rest of that day. And in that dream, I had like I had my own conquest in that hallucination or dream or whatever, where I had like an army of people, but we weren't harming anybody. We like took over the whole fucking like like a army base or some shit, and it had like a big ass following. And while that dream was like flickering away, while I was still awake, I was having visions of people coming into my room and handing me drugs. That's the part that tripped me the fuck out too, like in real life, because I was sitting crisscross fucking applesauce on the floor, (laughs) sitting on the floor while like my sister would walk, I would visualize my sister walking in the door and then handing me a pill, having me a couple pills, and it happened like four times while I was there, and then when I would come back to normal, I'd like look for them, I'm like, what the fuck, like just looking for them and shit, because I was still all fucked up, and it happened like three, four times, and yeah, that shit was, that shit was fucking awful, it was fucking crazy, I don't even know when I came back to normal and became normal again, I, it was towards the end of the month. I think around Christmas time where I started to feel a little bit of normalcy. Um, And yeah, it was just not sleeping, not associating with anybody. I was literally locked in my room. I locked myself in my room and I did the same thing I did that I, I did the same thing I did then as I did now. I gave up my keys all my money, you know, to somebody responsible until they could see that I made a change. And unfortunately, that didn't work that time because I would just like 
take my shit back and and then while I was working I fucking relapsed again cuz I, I I don't know I didn't feel I didn't my living situation then enabled me to fucking keep using there was no no repercussion no consequence now I propelled myself into this living situation now where there is consequence there is repercussions from my actions somebody not fucking babysitting me but basically showing me what could fucking happen if I do go back to that if I'm not responsible <sighs> but those hallucinations those dreams or whatever the fuck they were those those episodes of me sleepwalking and shit in my entire 28 27 years that I I that's never happened to me that's never fucking happened to me ever and that shit was fucking scary because I had no control over my mind at that point in time. I didn't. And I think that's what it was realizing now. I think that's what it was showing me. I don't, I didn't have control over my actions by going back to the drug and fucking continuing my use and fucking lying to people. <laughs> it made me into a person that I, I wouldn't want to be around myself, you know? And that's a real mind fuck right there. Like, that shit fucks with your head. You know, you can't... I can't live that double. So people can, you know. Sociopaths and shit or fucking... Um, psychopaths and shit could live that. They, they they could do that without feeling bad or feeling irresponsible or, you know. They could live that double life. But for somebody that doesn't deal with that type of shit, it scared me. And... I have yet to hallucinate again like that. I hope it never happens again, but I know it's because of my drug use. And, yeah, it's, it was very scary. Um, Be this my warning and testament to anybody dealing with fentanyl usage. Um, You're going to die from it. You're going to die from it. If you're not going to die from it, you're going to die... On it, you can still die as an addict. Uh, it's your choice in life. Godspeed. Hope everything goes your way. Or whatever the fuck you want to hear. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening, y'all. That, that, I don't know if it would, you know, make anybody think twice about using. But, yeah, those... Those types of things is something I could live without. I don't need that in my life anymore. Um, thank y'all. And look out for my next video. It might be about drug usage again. It might not. It might be about what I'm doing at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to be fucking Captain Sober over here. And fucking get a bunch of people under my belt. And this and that. Because... We all can end up back where we were, no matter what. I'm not planning to. I don't want to. I'm doing this for my own progression, seeing where I'm at. And that's all I'm doing this for. And maybe because it's therapeutic to me. Uh, as a kid, I used to record myself without feel sad or bad or mad or whatever the fuck. So this is, this is some type of therapy for me to look back on and see where I'm at, see who I am at the moment. Um, thank y'all for listening. If you subscribe, thank you so much. Leave a comment if you can. Put your fucking hallucination story in the fucking comments. Or fucking make a reply video to this or whatever. I don't know. I need a community to fucking latch on to so I could really know I'm doing the right thing. And, yeah, thanks.